I'm gonna break. Man. How y'all doing today, man? Good How y'all doing channel. today? How was your week? How was your How's it been, man? We had a Friday and Monday's public holiday, man. So the turn up starts on Thursday night. You're gonna have fun this week. Now on the night show today, we have a very interesting guy. I won't say his name, but I'll say tomorrow his web series go online. It's called One Chance. We'll talk about where we come from the show. Now it's the night show. We'll be right back with Small Talk with Dark Dark Boy. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to Small Talk on the Night Show. More claps, please. Now the first. Small talk today is, don't clap for this one. Now, a lady in the Caribbean jumps off her hotel because her fiance calls off the wedding. That's sad, man. That's like really sad. The reason is, March, March two years ago, he proposed to her. And two years later, he called off the wedding. Young ladies, don't wait for two years. Don't wait for two years after engagement. That's the lesson of this story. Now clap for that. After two years, run. Because you might kill yourself. You might kill yourself. The next story is a man in Canada, a Nigerian taxi driver, was, was seized and stopped from driving his car because he made some gay comments. Now recently, this man called Stephen Aze said that he was driving a cab and he stopped two men kissing. And he said, oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> it is disgusting. He didn't care about that. And they seized his license till August 5th. <laughs> now guess what? I think it is disgusting too. But no comments, just disgusting. Imagine you driving, it is disgusting. I think so, I don't know what you think about that. I think so. Now, Mexican police arrested a woman recently for not washing her husband's clothes. <laughs> oh my God! It happened in Tampico in Mexico and she was arrested. The man came back from work and said, lady, I want to wear my pyjama. And she's like, I I've not washed it, I've not washed it. And he's like, I'll call the police. Police, come on. And so, uh, so Nigerian women, call, call the police. They will arrest you and beat you on top. But man, it's crazy, man. Mexico, <laughs> you're going straight, man. Now, a monk has been arrested for stabbing a prostitute for not satisfying him <laughs> during sex. A monk. It's called Kanji in Nigeria. Kanji. Kanji came to the man and he stabbed the prostitute. Now, now, for the I think we, sh we should go back and say, monks, if you have Kanji issues, don't be a monk. <laughs> Casey, look, I'll be a monk! <laughs> but hey, just say, just say. Now, Britain's fattest man was buried in a double-breasted coffin. Two coffins for one man. He died with a weight of 412 kg. That's like 50 stones. A man died with 412 kg weight. He died because, of course, a cardiopulmonary attack. Now, he, was buried, he was buried with two now, 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 this is my question. Is it fair they are big and they spend extra money on your burial? I say it ain't fair. But hey, who am I? My only maybe half, half coffee. I'm just kidding. Now, the photo of the day. Now, before, before that, a judge detains children for not having dinner with their father. This happened in America. That's not funny. Now these three kids, 13, 16, and 11, they were, they're gonna be in juvenile till 18 because they didn't have dinner with their father. Apparently the parents are divorced and the, and, the, and, and the kids said, ah, me, I ain't going to dinner with my father. And they said, you, say, you go, eh? You're gonna to go to jail. You're gonna to go to jail. But I just think when kids are involved, I think, I think we should be careful, parents. Divorce, PC, don't, don't, don't try and make kids take sides. Yeah, don't, don't, I don't, that's what I think, but hey, who am I? 
It's the small tuck. Now check out the photo of the day. Here's a throwback photo of Mr. <laughs> Jude. That's B Square's brother. Jude Okoye. Looking like Pope in those days. <laughs> oh my God. It's the night show. We'll be right back with Mr. Lala Day Shisha of One Chance PLC. Now today we have Mr. Kolade Shasi. He is an actor, a producer, um, a scriptwriter, and also a, I don't know. Put your hands together for Mr. Kolade Shasi in the building! Thank you. Thank you, 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 thank you. How you doing, man? Very How you doing, man? Pisay! Thank you. Uh, really good to be here. In the middle, in the, mi in oh. the middle, in the middle. <laughs> How you doing, man? Lovely, good. Now, first of all, um, tomorrow your project drops. Yes. It's, uh, called, it's called One Chance. True, it's One Chance. <laughs> so <laughs> if anybody misses it tomorrow, 12 noon, then they've entered One Chance. <laughs> but, <laughs> Seriously. But why, why did you call it One Chance? Well, I didn't give it a name. I'm, I'm, the, I'm one of the lead actors on it. Okay. Um, created by Xavier and James Omokwe. They co-created it. James directed. Yeah. Like Xavier wrote the script. So they came up with the... They are the geniuses behind it. I can't take credit for that. I'm just the actor, the lead actor on, this, on the job. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, now, what do you think is one chance? Now, in Nigeria, one chance means... We are in trouble. <laughs> like, you better have one, you better have one chance. Now, why, why did you guys? Now, I know the boss thing yeah. is the idea of that's the original name called One Chance. Yeah, exactly. But why did you guys pick the name called One Chance? Well, basically because we are telling the same story. We're not, we're not trying to use a popular name to tell an unpopular story. We're telling the same story, but it's just about how the story is told. In this case, okay. we're telling the story of people who get. Uh, can I reveal? Okay, into a bus. <laughs> and then end up in some form some of situation. Trouble. So okay. I can't tell you the whole details. Hopefully we'll be seeing the trailer as the, as the show goes on. Yeah, but definitely. Now, um, as an actor, what are you? Well, who are you? <laughs> who are you? What are you? Are you actor, dancer? No, I can't dance to say. <laughs> so who are you? Primarily, I'm an actor. Okay. I'm also an acting coach, a casting director, like you said, a screenwriter, and uh, every now and then I double into production, into wait, producing. Wait, 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 wait. Jack of all trades. Jack of all trades. <laughs> nah. No, but, but which one do you think you do best? It's hard to say. It's really hard to say. Um, I, would like, I would like to go with acting and, an, and being an acting coach. Because, you see, there's a passion. What, you can wake me up any morning, any midnight, and say, come and act and I'm ready to do it. Even if the pay is not that good, please don't bring free jobs. <laughs> even if the pay is not that good, I'm still willing to do it because there's a passion for it. Screenwriting, for me, is, it's an extremely harder job. You're trying to create a whole scenario, mm -hmm. trying to create a world, create characters, create the environment. So it's extremely hard. And for me, I have to get paid well if I'm going write, <laughs> to write the script. You understand? So, so in other words, acting is free. No, it's not. It comes but, easy for him. But screenwriting is expensive. It comes Thanks, easy for him. No, com it <laughs> so a free actor, you don't <laughs> <For> pay for <laughs> It comes easy, easy for, for me. Him. So unlike screenwriting, I, I believe, man, if, if we're like not talking, it's, it's serious work for me. But, okay, now, um, now, with all due respect, if we say you're like a newcomer in the industry, is that him right? Uh, it's, it's, it's... Cause you, you, all do, you all don't want to be... Everybody wants to be old-timer. How many years no, have no. you been there? Well, um... As an actor? As an actor... I've been in the industry for a while. How and then years? I had to how, go... How many years? I had to go to years? school. And... That's almost right. 16 years? That's how almost get, right. How did you get it? Like, 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 <laughs> like no, no, I started as a young actor, just fresh out of secondary school. I was on Charles Novia's... So you're in school at age five? Mm, not really. You're 21, 21 years old. Yeah, I'm actually 16 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! OK, so like I started immediately after secondary school. I did one or two or three jobs. Then Obaseki, stayed drama with the RMDs and likes. I was Obaseki's son, which was played by RMD. Are you sure they had a house boy? 
Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, there was no houseboy and stuff. So, so um, well, and it, it was fun. I enjoyed it. For, right from right from you know small, I, I'd watch the actors, and I felt I can do this. I can even do it better. But when I got into it, I realized it wasn't it's that, that easy. easy. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, I had to go back to school, finish school, and then coming back into the industry, I was like, what do you want to do? So I decided to try producing which was where we came okay, up but, with. But pause that. Now, did school add to your acting or it was just a course you did? No, it was an entirely different course. Why? So why, why do you guys do that? Because it's what your parents want you to do and you just force yourself, you just see yourself in that situation and you're just like, this is not what I want to do. But. And because sometimes you don't have a high jump score and so yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the beggar has no choice. It's, it's amazing how... It's amazing how, how, that, how that always happens. It's amazing. Yeah, but you know, in some cases, we really didn't have so much of a choice. I, I, I would have loved to have studied theater arts, basically, in school. I would have enjoyed it. I would have loved it. I wouldn't have had issues with it. Okay. So if I had the chance, I probably would have done that. And um, having left school, I've still yeah. tried to educate myself. I attended the African Academy of Filmmakers, okay. organized by Mo Film in UK, but um, organized here in Nigeria, the, the pioneer. So they chose a few people, you know. So you feel like you're, but, but you think you're almost there? Yes, I think so. I think so. Not there yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you happy? You're just young in this industry, man. <laughs> you have to believe. <laughs> believe in yourself. Well, you know, it's not how far, it's how well. And how I think well. we're trying to do well right now. So. Now, before we go on a break, mm. I want you to, 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 to be impressed. Who should, who should he be? Impersonate any actor. That's popular. I won't give you because I'll kill you if I give you. So, check. should we go old school? RMD, checkmate. RMD, checkmate. So, what you're trying to tell me is you cannot do a simple job. Get a dad killed, and that is too hard for you. Huh? That is too hard for you. How hard can it be to kill a woman? Hmm? See, eh? if you don't get this done on time, I'm going to just get someone else to do the job. And I might tell him to come for you next. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm out. <laughs> when we come back, we'll have RMD continue. Checkmate. So, did you like what you just saw? I know you did. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. If you want to see more, just subscribe to our channel right now.